This lesson has been taken from the Mechanic Mindset training platform. If you want to take your diagnostics to the next level, download our new mobile phone app and sign up at mechanicmindset.com today. Use the code YouTube to get your first month of Diagnostic Coach absolutely free. Now we're going to get into the absolute basic fundamentals of electrics. So we're going to cover this before we go on to volt drop. And as long as we get this basic understanding down, we'll be able to understand volt drop a lot easier. So first of all, we're going to take a look at a basic circuit here. We've got a 12 volt power supply, which is around about what we'd usually get from a vehicle battery. We've got a wire here represented by the red line. We've got a bulb, which is our resistance in the circuit or our consumer. This is the one that's going to be consuming all the energy. And then we've got a ground, which is represented by the brown line. So if this circuit switched on, it'd be safe to assume that at this point here, we would have 12 volts. And then at this point here, we would have zero volts. That's if we were going to measure it with our voltmeter with the black lead connected to the battery ground or battery negative and measuring at those arrows with our red lead of the voltmeter. Okay so now if we take a look at this next circuit what we've done is we've made an open circuit in the live side in the positive side of the circuit. So now if we used our multimeter again our voltmeter and took a measurement at the live side of the bulb we can see that we would have zero volts because we've got a ground connected here. The bulb is just a piece of wire at the end of the day and the bulb's not going to be switched on. So there's going to be no load. There's going to be no drop in voltage. So we would have zero volts on the live side of the bulb. Again, we would have zero volts on the ground side of the bulb. Finally, then we look at the open circuit on the other side of our um, circuit here, and we've now got an open circuit on the ground. OK, because we've got no interruption on the power supply, we would have 12 volts measured before the bulb at the power to the bulb. And then on the other side, because we haven't got a ground, we would also measure 12 volts on the ground side of the bulb. So again, we've got this 12 volts coming through here to the bulb, which is just a filament, a piece of wire. And that 12 volts is going to go all the way through to the other side. Now, remember, we wouldn't measure zero volts on this side unless the circuit was complete like this. OK, now this is something that catches people out quite often when measuring electrical circuits, especially when we start disconnecting things to take measurements. Taking that basic bit of knowledge then, we can have a look at a positive switched circuit. So on a positive switch circuit, when the switch is off, okay, we would have zero volts on the power side of the bulb and we would also have zero volts on the ground side of the bulb. When we turn that switch on, we then get 12 volts at the power side and then zero volts at the ground side. Okay, I think that's quite easy for most people to understand. Then we get to the negative switch. This is where you've got to be careful. Again, the circuit is switched off and we've got a switch on the ground side. So when it's switched off, we're going to get 12 volts on both sides of that bulb. Now, it's really important that, again, you, you understand that if you measure 12 volts on the ground side of a circuit, just make sure that you've got it switched on. If not, we could be looking at an open circuit, which we'll get onto the open circuit diagnostic process later. Of course, then when we close this switch, we then get 12 volts on the positive side and zero volts on the negative side. So for all our diagnostics, for all our electrical diagnostics, especially the method that we teach when we get onto volt drops, it's really important that you always leave the circuit connected. So don't disconnect any of the connectors and start probing the front of them or disconnecting any of the uh, components. And we must also have them switched on because if they're not switched on, we're not going to be measuring the actual circuit voltages. We'll take a look in this demonstration on the circuit board. So we've got a basic circuit here. We've got a three volt battery. So this is two one and a half volt batteries. This is the live side. You can just see the positive um, symbol just here. And then we've got the negative on this side. The wires going up to the bulb and then the wires coming back round. 
So the first thing we're going to do is turn the voltmeter to volts DC and I'm going to put the black lead, the black negative lead of the uh, voltmeter onto the negative side of the battery. Okay, so that's ideally where we'll be putting our black lead for most circuits. What we can do then is check the battery voltage. You can see we've got 2.9 volts there. And we've got about 2.9 volts at the live side of the bulb. Okay, so we've got 2.9 volts coming all the way along here to here. Then on the other side of the bulb, we've got zero volts, which is the ground side here. So now what I'm going to do is make the live side open circuit. So now we can see that we've got three volts. It's just gone up a tiny bit. It's because the bulb's not on anymore. 3 volts at the battery positive and we should also have then 3 volts at the end of this wire so we've got 3 volts going all the way across. Now on the bulb we've got 0 volts. Notice how it's exactly 0 all the way across. That's quite important. We're going to look at that later when we talk about volt drop. And then of course we've got 0 volts on the other side of the battery. So now we've got a ground going all the way through the bulb to here. And that only changes when we close the circuit. Now on the other side, I'm just going to take this one off. We're going to leave that black lead on the negative side of the battery. Now we've taken the ground off, so the ground is open circuit. Okay, so we should have our three volts at the battery and at the live side of the bulb. However, now look, we've still got three volts on the other side of the bulb because it's not been grounded. So the bulb isn't using up any of the uh, voltage. Okay, there's no current flow. And that will go all the way to the end. Okay, so there's a basic look at what we um, do for fault diagnostics is if we if we check in the circuit and we haven't got you know zero volts on the ground side we know that there's a problem on the ground side same for the live side if we haven't got battery voltage on the live side we know there's a problem with the live side so we're going to dig deeper into this now on the voltage drop explanation if you want to take the guesswork out of diagnostics then come and check out the mechanic mindset diagnostic coach program we have a whole online training platform which is dedicated to making things easy to understand and can also be accessed on our brand new mobile phone app. Benefit from the instant access of over 15 training courses and counting on topics like electrical diagnostics, sensors, engine management and emission systems, CAN bus and networks and oscilloscope. We add new lessons every month. Plus, you can download certificates for completing certain courses. We have a monthly live training session, which we record if you can't make it, and a private community, which is willing to help you with your diagnostic problems. So sign up today for your first month free using the code YouTube, and I hope to see you at the next live training session.